Hi, welcome again. Today we are talking about Unreal Engine landscape layer sensing. So what is this? So here basically from the blueprint, I can access that I'm walking on the ground, but I'm on the sand. I can see that I'm working on the sand. And then I can go to a place like this. Okay, and then I can play. So here on the ground, but then on the slope, I can see I'm walking on the slope. So here, this is something said by the auto material. So I can read that from the blueprint and do anything with that. And I can even uh, go to the top area like that and it will show me that I'm using the top layer over here. So this is assigned using the material. So then you might ask what's the benefit by doing this. So basically if I'm walking on the ground I can uh, do some effects on the foot or if I'm walking on the, the sand area I can throw some sand uh, from the foot and do some special effects sounds and you name it and this is not something new and this is ex Available for a long time, but we are making it a little bit easier to use and we're using some new features introduced by Unreal Engine 4.26 Here we are using the open land landscape material and we ship some of the easy to use tools for this uh, But at the end I'm gonna show you how those functionality works and even uh, adapt that functionality into your own landscape material So if you want to get open land just check the description below and you can grab that from the marketplace or you can get the non-commercial version from github i assume now you have a landscape created with open land then uh, click the landscape from the world outline and go to the uh, details panel and search for generate here we have a checkbox called generate overlap events and try to enable it if that's not right then save your project and restart your project and that's the must try to restart your project if you just change this uh, value all right i'm back we are trying to access this layer information uh, from a blueprint um, the ideal place to do that in the character blueprint so here i'm using the default uh, third person uh, blueprint character so here content third person bp blueprints and we have the blueprint character I can, i'm gonna double click and open that you can even do this in the animation blueprint uh, if you like then i'm gonna right click and search for event tick here i'm in the event tick every tick i'm going to execute some functionality usually you don't run something uh, quite complicated on this event tick but just for the demonstration purpose i'm going to use this then right click and search for detect physics material and this is something comes with open land and you might not see this if you're not using open land then i'm going to connect this then i get the unreal engine physics material or physical material as a response and in unreal engine there is no direct way to grab the landscape layer here i'm going to grab the display name of this uh, object and i'm going to just simply print that to the screen and get the execution pin over here and print string all right then i'm going to connect it over here and let's reduce the uh, duration to just 0 0.2 seconds i'm going to compile and save this and then let's play the level I can see I'm on the ground. You can see it's on the uh, screen, a PM ground. Then if I'm walking on the sand, you can see I'm walking on the sand. All right, now what are these uh, physical materials or physics material? So basically that's the way you can add some physics function like, uh, like friction and so on. But here we are not using that for this purpose, just a way to identify the layer. So here I'm going to show you in a moment how to set up this in the landscape material. But here uh, we have shipped with a couple of physical material for an open land. So you can see over there and you can add custom items and also you can uh, configure them i'll show you in a moment so based on that we can execute some uh, sound or run uh, some uh, nigra effect and uh, let me show you how to do that so here uh, we have this physical material or physics material i'm going to grab that and i'm going to search for compare then i'm going to search for equal object and then i'm going to select the asset from here here let's let's say i'm interested about the pm underscore sand like this if that's the case i'm going to grab the uh, branch or if statement and then i'm going to connect that over here right then if that's the case i'm going to try to print something just for the demonstration purpose and let's say i'm on sand compile and say uh, let me play this and here nothing happens because i'm on the ground but if i am inside the sand you get a message like this just like that you can add some uh, another if condition to the this false path and try to copy this and and try to uh, select a different uh, physical material let's say pm uh, ground and you can um, you can set this as a condition and execute something else so you get the idea all right now we know how to work with the blueprint and 
get this information now let's see how we can feed this information or the landscape material in order to do that let me open the landscape material i'm going to select my landscape from the uh, well outline and in the landscape material we have the material instance scroll to the bottom and uh, here we have the parent uh, actual landscape material i'm going to open that and here we have a section called uh, physical material management and here we have a node called landscape physical material out uh, this is a node added in 4.26 so basically it's very similar to the grass output node but for physical materials so you can actually uh, assign a physical material based on a mask that you can create on the landscape here we have created a mask sampling both the sand layer and sand alpha layer and then we pass them to all statement so basically this is simply by adding two items together and saturating that and if that's the case we kind of think uh, so this is sand and in that case assign this pm sands physical material for this mask likewise you can create or use any existing mask and, uh, and assign physical material as you wish you can go through this uh, landscape material and try to modify that and adapt to your own landscape material if you're using open land try to use the open lands a modular development setup so if you use that and uh, you can even get a uh, future updates from the marketplace or github without actually doing any core modifications all right now let's see how the uh, blueprint works here we have this vtech physics material functionality i'm going to double click and open that so basically it's pretty simple we have a line trace by channel node so here the start position is the, the current play characters at the location and then uh, the end position is the uh, 150 centimeters below that position and then as a result we can get the physics material or physical material and that's what we return from this functionality this is pretty simple and if your character size is a little bit different and you can change this as size and also if you have multiple players and you can like modify this function and try to adapt to your game or project right now i think you know how to uh, work with this physical materials and try to detect the landscape player from blueprints and do uh, very interesting things in upcoming tutorials i'm planning to be on top of this and try to show you how to invoke foot sound as the player walks or run and try to add some effects on the foot and like that all right see you soon with something interesting bye